Hey there YouTube, welcome to another Tech Me Out video. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when new videos come out. Today's video is about a tour of my home network because boy did I get a lot of messages and questions about that. So I thought to myself, why not? Let's do it. So I will show you around my home network. It's not something too fancy, not something too elaborate. Uh, I think it's the right combination of considering budget and space to the equipment and the way it's connected. So after the intro, join me in my first location and we will go over location by location and we'll show uh, at the end the map of the complete home network. It should be interesting. Join me after the intro. Hey there, okay, so we are at our first location, which is actually my storage unit, which is right next to my apartment. There's a, this wall right here that separates between my apartment and this storage unit. So this is the, let's say, core location of my network, because this is where my network rack is. This is where my internet connection comes in, my core switch, my servers, my NAS devices. So. I will quickly show you my rack, we'll discuss what's in it and why, and this will be the overview, the overview of our first location. So let me try to get this camera tripod into a better location and the camera. Hopefully this is something that we will be able to see and work with. So the first device right here, it's my UDM Pro. This is where my internet location, my internet uh, connection comes in. This is my firewall and it will be my uh, uh, home security unit with Unify Protect uh, once I get the cameras I ordered uh, connected. And this UDM device is connected to a Unify switch USW24. It's not a PoE switch, it's a regular switch Gen 2. It's an extreme workhorse. I'm, workhorse. I'm so happy with it and we can see that several devices are connected to it. Now in a, a let's say classic enterprise environment sorry to the core switch you only connect other switches but we are not in an enterprise environment after all and we need to consider space we need to consider budget we need to consider locations uh, around the house so what I am connecting to this rack are these two devices in regards to network. And what we can see here is my secondary or backup Synology device. It's a DS216 Plus and our primary Synology device, which is a DS918 Plus. So the 918 Plus regularly on a schedule backs up its most precious data to the DS916 Plus. They're connected to the same network on the same VLAN, so the traffic doesn't uh, overload my other VLANs and my network. And most of my, uh, my Synology uh, videos and tutorials were made on this 918, and some of them on a virtual DSM running on this 918. By the way, if you haven't watched my video on how to create a virtual DSM virtual machine on your Synology device, definitely give it a shot. All right, so below that, let me try to adjust the camera once again. You can see two desktop computers. These desktop computers are actually running, both of them are running VMware ESXi 7. This is my virtualization environment, both for labbing and testing. And actually, if you can call it that, my home production network is also running on that. Um, this is something that uh, actually also uh, has been overviewed in previous videos. So, how does this connect to the rest of the network and the rest of the house? Let me show you. What I did 
in order to get connectivity from this location to the rest of the house, I had to drill. And again, I'm sorry, we just moved into this apartment a few months ago, so not everything is tidy, not everything is neat. This is the hole I drilled from uh, the room, which is currently my home office or work from home office. And I, I will, of course, show you the other side, but this is where a, 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 a network cable comes in and goes all the way from the bottom of the rack and connects to the rack somewhere from the back. All right, it's, in, it's a female RJ45 connection and it connects right here, right here. So this is how I get a, a network connectivity through the rest of the house and the switches and the access points. My internet connection, actually in reality, it also comes in from the, uh, from the home office because uh, when I got first connected through my ISP, I have a, a fiber connection of 500 down, 50 up. They installed the network jack, the fiber network jack through uh, to in the office. So eventually when I decided I don't have enough space and I'm moving all of my uh, core network to the storage unit, I actually drilled another hole. I'm going to try to show you this hole right here. And then I was able to connect the fiber to a, a, a fiber to an RJ45 connector and the connector to the wall and from the wall to the UDM. I know it's not very, let's say, enterprisey, but actually I had no choice. I had no other choice but to do it. So this is my network rack, a UDM Pro, a Unify USW24, two Synology devices, and two desktop servers running ES6i. Well, this is in the first location. We will jump right to the second location. Join me. All right, guys, so we are in our second location, which is my living room. And again, I'm so sorry, not everything is very tidy. We just moved in a few months ago. We had a baby two months ago. So not everything is uh, very well organized. Again, I'm sorry. So as you can see in the living room, I have one access point. It's a, a, a ACLR access point, of course, Unify. Now, it's not going to stay here. At some point, it's going to be hung up on the wall over there. Uh, you can see it right now, but it's not going to stay here. I know it's a very crappy location for an access point. Believe me, it's temporary. Now, this access point is connected right behind this, uh, 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 this closet or dresser or whatever into this compartment. And this compartment holds a Unify switch, a US 860 watts. It's a PoE switch. And what is doing right now, this switch is in charge of powering on the access point and of course providing connectivity. It also connects to this small set-top box, my TV box, my satellite TV. And this switch connects back to my apartment com box, which will be our third location. We are going some, in some sort of a chronological way, at least for me. So as you can see, nothing too fancy, nothing too elaborate. But one thing I do want to mention is I, I thought about placing this switch in my com box. You will see that in my com box I have a Unify switch US8 which is not a PoE switch, but I have a very small space over there and I had a hard time getting this power brick into this small com box, you will see. So what this switch is doing is also powering over PoE, the US8 in the com box, and through a PoE pass through, the US8 in the com box is powering uh, the access point in our fourth location, which is my office. It's powering through, pass through a UAP AC in wall. All right, so 
there is some sort of a, a, a power, a, a POE chain. This powers that, and that powers the next one. I know it's not an, it's not optimal, but uh, again, I need to consider budget and space. So, this is the second location. Now we'll go to our quick third location, which is the combox. All right, guys, so we are in our third location. And actually, this location is, is our combox, our apartment combox. Now, this might be um, uh, functioning a little bit as the core uh, network function of the apartment. Uh, uh, in some case, in, in some sense, it is. So what I have here is a US-8 non-POE switch. It's powered on from the US 8 60 watts we saw in our second location in the living room. The reason I decided to put this here and the other switch, the POE switch there, is because there isn't a lot of space here. And this power brick that I needed to connect if I had the POE switch here, it just made everything too, too tight uh, to be comfortable with. So again, not ideal, but it's, it's for me, it was a necessity. So the red cables here are a, a network cables I have throughout the rooms in the house, in my bedroom, in my a, a, a daughter's bedroom, in my daughter's playroom, in the living room, in my a, a next location we'll see, which is my a, a home office or work from home office. And if you remember, in our first location, we saw a, a gray cable that provided connectivity to the storage unit, from the storage unit to the rest of the house. It's this gray cable here. I'm not sure you're able to see it. This gray cable right here goes right out to the storage unit we saw in the beginning of this, uh, of this video. So again, in regards to uh, chronological order, this, P this switch sorry, is powered by PoE from the US 860 watts. It comes in right over here. And this switch has a PoE pass-through that it can pass through a PoE to, an, to another device and it's exactly what I'm doing. In my next location, we will see that this cable here, the PoE out, is connected. I'm not sure I'm going to, uh, to be able to show you because it's behind a, a, a cupboard that is bolted to the wall, but it's connected to a UAP AC in wall. Uh, it's right behind a closet, it's bolted down, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to see it. And this provides a, a PoE pass-through as well to a, a flex mini switch. So you see I'm, I'm kind of putting my, a, 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 all of my eggs in the same basket, which is risky, I know. But it's, it's something that was for me a necessity. I had no other option. So this is my third location. It's connecting the rest of the house, the rooms, the living room, the storage unit, everything else. So if I'm unplugging uh, 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 this cable right here, I think it's six, the rest of the house will not have a uh, network connectivity. It will disconnect the main switch and firewall from the rest of the home. All right, let's go to our fourth and last location, my office. All right, guys, so we are at our fourth location and I'm doing it completely on my, uh, on my free form uh, uh, um, tripod holding it by hand. Uh, um, this is my work from home office. I have my computer here. My laptop is right here. My desktop right here. I have an Intel NAC I'm using for some testing. And I am sorry, I'm not going to be able to show you, but behind this closet right here, right in this gap, behind this uh, closet, there is a network jack connected to a Unify UAC AP in wall. It's right against the, uh, the wall. And this gap is actually touching uh, the edge of the UAC AP in wall. I know, again, not an ideal place for an access point, I know. But it, the, it's the only place I had to, uh, that I could get an RJ45 cable to connect to it. So again, a consideration of budget, space and house limitations. So I will show it in the diagram though. This access point has, has 
two network jacks in, in the bottom of it. One of them is PoE pass-through. So the access point itself is powered from the switch in our third location we saw in the com box. It provides PoE pass-through powering this access point and this access point has PoE pass-through and it's powering on. I hope you will be able to see it. It's right here. Not sure it comes in in the picture. A Unify Flex Mini switch. So this switch connects back from the back of the closet, goes right over the desk and connects the laptop docking station and the desktop. All right, so one more thing we need to take in account. The internet connection, my ISP connection, fiber, comes from the com box to a fiber wall jack by ISP installed again against this, uh, behind this closet. So I thought to myself, if I have no space left in this room and I need to move everything, my core uh, network to the uh, storage unit, how will I provide the internet connection? So what I did, I asked my ISP to take away their modem and provide me with a fiber converter. I hope you, you're able to see it right here. And this creates uh, fiber to RJ con uh, um, RJ45 uh, connection. So I took the RJ45 connection through the wall, again with drilling, I drilled it to the storage unit and from the storage unit to the UDM Pro. Now, this is a little makeshift. It's not ideal, not ideal at all, but it was some sort of a necessity for me. So this is the quick walkthrough, physical walkthrough of my home network. It's again, not maybe the ultimate correct best practice way to do stuff, but it is correct for me considering my budget and my apartment. Now we will go over to the computer and see a diagram. So maybe we can tie all the ends together. So I'm going to go over to the computer and I'll see you there. All right, guys, so we are at the computer and here I made a little basic Visio diagram and I hope I will be able to bring all of what we saw from the different locations around the house into one main, let's say, architecture so that we can tie in all the loose ends. So this is the network in general and we can see that from our internet connection, we have our UDM Pro, which serves is our primary uh, uh, firewall. The UDM Pro is connected uh, uh, to a USW24 switch and uh, uh, both of my NAS devices and my two ESX servers are connected directly to it. Now, in a typical enterprise or corporate network to this what's uh, known to be a core switch, you will only connect other switches. Of course, this is not the case for me. I don't have this capacity and this much space. So I got my core functionality physical devices connected directly to the switch and I place them in the rack. Now, from here, if we remember from the gray line that is going straight into the wall in a not so tidy manner, it goes to the com box. In the com box, we have a Unify US8 switch and the rest of the uh, locations in the, in the house are connected to it. So for example, if we go to the living room, we have a US 860 watts, which is powering on the access point, the ACLR access point, and it's also providing, in, uh, uh, providing network connectivity to my internet-based uh, 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 television set-top box, which is actually a satellite TV, but it's internet based, but it's beside the topic. And from the com box, we also get uh, uh, from the PoE out, we get uh, uh, connectivity and power to the office UAP AC in wall, which is behind this closet right here. I'm sorry I was not able to show you it. And from the uh, in wall access point from the PoE out port, we are powering on 
uh, Flex Mini that is providing connectivity to my laptop and my desktop. In this diagram we see just basic, uh, I just wanted to capture the idea that I have other uh, red, uh, if you remember from the combox, red cables running through other uh, rooms in the house, my bedroom, my uh, daughter's bedroom, etc, etc. So this is the whole connectivity map, something that I know is uh, uh, generally something to be avoided, I'll just mark it in the map in yellow, in regards to power, all right. So this switch right here is providing power to this US8 switch through this port. And from this port, the PoE out, we are providing power to this UAP access point. And from this PoE out port into the PoE in port, we're providing power to the Flex Mini. Now, I know what you're going to say. If the power goes out here, it will create an outage here because this won't get PoE, which means this won't get PoE power, which means this won't get any power. So basically I lost 90% of my network in case just this one device loses its power. I know it's horrible, it's something that is, to say the least, not optimal. I know, but again, my, my consideration was, uh, let's say my professional consideration was something that I was unable to perform because I couldn't swap between this one and this one because of the power brick, which couldn't fit in the com box. So I, I know it's, uh, to say the least, not optimal. It's just, again, considering uh, uh, my space and my budget and my uh, physical limitations. So this is how I tie in all my network throughout the house. I know I don't have a mansion with uh, uh, dozens of access points and dozens of switches, uh, but this is how I do things. Maybe it's not the best way in general, but it's the best way for me and how I could fit things. Now, obviously, I would like to know how you would have th done things differently. Please let me know in the comment section below. I love to hear any suggestions and ideas and something that I can do differently to make my network maybe more robust. Please, if you have any idea, I'm dying to hear about it. Write it down in the comment section below. As always, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when new videos come out. And I do have some very interesting videos coming up shortly. After this video, I'm going to provide, for example, a UDM home office setup. Uh, so please subscribe so, uh, so you'll be with me in my next videos. I wish you all a very pleasant day. Keep safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.